This message is for the Jew and Palestinians and all other foreigners traveling in the Holy Land. This is the voice in the wilderness spoken from a preacher in Los Angeles, California, United States of America. This message for the salvation of your soul. Man was created in the image of God and in his likeness. God the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost are one as the Trinity. Soul and spirit and body of man were one as well. Man was created a living soul that never dies. Since sin came to the world by the devil, man has lost Trinity as God. Soul is corrupted as well as spirit also dead. So that cannot see the living God, that is a spirit. This is the reason why man needs to receive the salvation of soul. The word of God hath declared unto the world, All men sinned, and come short of the glory of God, and the wage of sin is death. All men should be saved to be delivered from the sinful world, as well as from hell, that is the eternal burning place, being separated from holy God. If not, you are destined to live with the devil in the lake of fire forever. The hell is prepared for the devil and his angels, not for man at all. From the birth, all men are born of sin that is engraved in their heart as the color in the skin of Ethiopian and the black spots in the skin of a leopard. The Lord God spoke through prophet Jeremiah. Can Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spot? Then may you also do good that are accustomed to do evil. From the birth, no man can do good, but are accustomed to do evil. Jesus Christ spoke unto the Jews, that not believed on him. From within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, a lost viciousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defy the man. Even though you have never committed such kind of sins at all, but you are still sinners before the eyes of God because God sees the sin in your heart in conscience. Under the Moses law, man had to bring sacrifices to redeem their sins for them to shed the blood for their sins. But the blood of animals only was able to sanctify their flesh, not conscious in the heart of man at all. The blood of Jesus Christ took away the sin of the world. So if we receive Jesus Christ believing on him that died for your sins according to the scriptures and buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures with repentance, then all sins shall be taken away by the blood of Jesus Christ and you are to be born again of the Spirit of God, giving salvation your soul, as well as regeneration of the Spirit. 
uh, sooner or later, Jesus Christ shall appear in the air to take the believers home in heaven. And there shall be the great tribulation in the earth for seven years. That is called the trouble of Jacob to give the final chance for the Jew and the Gentiles to repent for not believing on Yeshua, that is Jesus Christ, and believe on him. The nation of Israel shall repent their sin, as Prophet Zachariah prophesied. He said, I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourns for his only son, and it shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Zechariah prophesies that all the nations of Israel shall understand. They pierce their Lord manifested in flesh, and the remnant of nation repent to be saved and enter the millennium of Christ, that is the eternal Canaan, the promised land given unto their ancestor Abraham. Afterwards, Jesus shall judge all nations of people that not believed on him and against his chosen people in Israel in the time of trouble of Jacob, so-called the Great Tribulation, and he will cast the devil into the bottomless pit for a thousand years and establish the millennium of Christ in the Holy Land for a thousand years. Repent, kingdom of heaven is near at hand because the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of laws will come to the Holy Land to sit at the throne of David as he had promised unto his people. The prophecy spoken by Zachariah is going to be fulfilled sooner or later. In that day will I make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people around about, when they shall be in the seas both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And to that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone, all people, all that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. That is Jerusalem. Don't forget all nations of people in the earth. The Lord God of Israel gave eternal covenant without any condition. He said unto Abraham, 4,000 years ago, Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river of Euphrates, that is, the land of the Kenite and Kenizzite and the Kadmonite and the Hittites and the Perizzite and Rufines and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Gilgashite and Jobushite. The Lord God spoke unto all nations in earth through prophet Joel. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. The Lord God spoke unto all nations through prophet Amos of what to be fulfilled when time comes. He said, Behold the day come, says the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, 
and the treader of grapes him that soy seed, and the mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt, and I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make garden and eat fruit of them, and I will plant them their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, says the Lord thy God. Once again, all the nations of people must remember the eternal covenant without condition given unto Abraham 4,000 years ago. Unto thy seed have I given this land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, and the river Euphrates. The Lord God gave the whole land of Palestine unto the children of Abraham, that is, the people of Israel. No one can void his covenant. The Lord God restored the nation of Israel miraculously in 1948, May 14, to fulfill his covenant given unto Abraham. All the words of God have been fulfilled without any failure, and it shall be fulfilled to the end of the world. Jesus Christ sprinkled his blood as well as all the waters unto the whole world 2,000 years ago, shedding on the cross. Whosoever believe in the power of his blood and receive him as the Lord and personal Savior, the blood of Jesus Christ shall take away all sins in the conscience of heart, and soul shall be saved through remission of sins. Saved souls shall have the hope to see Jesus Christ in the day of Christ, that is called the day of rapture, and shall be clothed with incorruptible and immortal body to restore the trinity of man that is one in spirit, and soul and body blameless to the eyes of God. Today is the day for salvation and the day for receiving the grace of God through Jesus Christ. Remember, all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as a flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower falls away. But the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. I urge all of you again to repent that not believed on Jesus Christ Yeshua. If you have not believed on him yet, and receive him as the Lord and Savior Messiah, before he comes to judge the world, believing sincerely with all your heart that Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures, and buried and rose again the th from the dead the third day, according to the scripture. God bless you all. May the grace and peace upon all of you hearing this message from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.